Onward, Christian soldiers. It doesn't say that, does it? Don't be down. Well, you got me worried now. I'm sure it'll be OK. The White House speechwriters know what they're doing. Well, if we can't trust them about that, when can we? Yeah. You haven't got time to go into all that, Tony. You're on. Is it on the autocue? They've just put it on. Sure? Right. Well, wish me luck. Well, don't need it, mate. You're a pro. Thank you. Thank you. Look, um, before I start, I'd just like to, you know, <laughs> uh, just you know, say a few words off the cuff, as it were, without the definite of autocue. <laughs> now, look, I wasn't going to say this, but I just think it's important. To those who say that I'm, I'm some kind of poodle parroting the thoughts of George Bush. <laughs> I just say, golly, that really annoys me. <laughs> but back to my speech. My fellow <laughs> Anglicans, at this historic time, I stand before you, proud to know some Americans. <laughs> And whether I'm strolling around our branch of Tesco's <laughs> or just watching Star Wars with the washing on, I know I can count on your support, whatever state I'm in. <laughs> All across this great country of ours, so vast that to cross it coast to coast by train... <laughs> no, that's about right. We share a common belief in the three founding principles. Freedom, justice, and honour. Spelt correctly. <laughs> now, as you know, I've got a heck of a team at the Downing Street. <laughs> I really have. <laughs> now, I know some of you have expressed concern about the condition of... Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, I saw him this morning and he's never looked fatter. <laughs> and that's important because if anything should happen to me, you should remember <laughs> that dick will be running the country. <laughs> it was, I believe, our great national leader, Winston Churchill, he it was who said, we shall fight them on the beaches, or all of them on some of the beaches, but not all of them on all the beaches all the time. And I think he said it more than once, actually. And so, to my critics, I would say simply this. The British Bulldog <laughs> will spread its legs <laughs> and show the world what we're made of. <laughs> God help us all. In a constant effort to improve our ongoing aftercare programme, the UK government has introduced a brand new telephone hotline service for you to let us know how you think we're governing. If you'd like to comment on how we're handling fire strikes, top-up fees, constant warmongering, Cherie Blair's fashion sense, or any other issues of national concern, then phone 0909 879 0989 and speak to one of our specially trained operators. They'll quickly reassure you that contrary to reports, everything is going fine, and they'll offer you the chance, at least for a few minutes, to take your mind off the current appalling state of affairs with an easy-to-enter pop trivia quiz, where you have the chance to win a year's supply of the life-saving vaccine of your choice.